Well, when I first went and played uh, with Paul, with Bill, it was that yeah. was like some years after Bill and I knew each other, and I I played with him in Boston a little bit. He was part oh, okay. of Peter Koshi's band. Oh yeah, I went and and just sat in with them one time. That was maybe the first time we played together. And Bill, that time that was maybe 1974. Already, oh man, wow, you know he already had a distinctive um, kind of a point to his sound. Yeah. You know, that was, and we were both at that, at a stage where we were uh, developing ideas about how and stuff, you know, but then when we first played with motion, when I, I went up and played with Paul, with Mark Johnson and Bill first rehearsal, yeah, we played like My Man Is Gone and we right, played okay. standard tunes and uh, a few of Paul's originals, you know. Uh, Bill, the way he plays a melody, he lives in the melody of the song. Yeah. And he plays it with authority and clarity and also an innocence. Yeah, innocence. That's a good one. Fragility. Yeah. Like, yeah, like yeah. this. He's yeah. like, discovering it and even he might have it under his fingertips but he's playing it with a certain uh beauty that uh i don't know it's hard to describe that you know? uh and and so to share the melody with him was always like uh, um an exploration of how we could play this melody together without playing even though we might be playing unison notes yeah, yeah. But the yeah. rhythm and the, the color started to take shape, uh, a, another shape besides just his sound or my sound, you know? And uh, when we play any tune, Bill lives in the melody, like I said, you know? And the, the harmony also. Yeah, yeah sure. Every aspect. But he plays that melody. And some, he'll use, that melody will become a background Kind of like an approach like Thelonious, man. Yeah. Bill, uh, very influenced by Thelonious Monk. Yeah, sure. I mean, and, when, and when you play we, Monk, yeah, I love that. Yeah. And then the way we played, developed as a trio with no bass, the melody is so important to sustain throughout the piece. And I think that's why Paul, like we ended up playing with Paul for 30 years because we were always reshaping and creating some music inside the repertoire yeah without just repeating repeating it did you guys ever talk about music like how to make it or did you just usually just jump in or yeah not not really I, we never really paul never gave us too much direction just just the tune itself and the music yeah. the, the feeling the way he played gave direction you know Sometimes, you know, a lot of the record dates we did, some of those, some of the tunes on some of those records was the first time we played mm -hmm. those tunes, right? Paul yeah. would bring in some music. So I remember at record dates, Paul standing at the, at the Bill's music stand and both Bill and I playing and looking at what he, you know, brought in of his originals, you know? Yeah. And he'd listen and uh, he might say something just about the form of it or whatever. But then once he sat down and played along with us, it would give, a, it would give us an idea of more of the momentum of it, you know. Or if we played through something, I might have played it too fast. Mm -hmm. He said, take your time. And then it would take a, a different shape. You know what I mean? Just a little yeah. thing, you know. But but most of the most of the time we just like played with interpretation of the piece. Yeah, there was a lot that's... of trust. There was a lot of trust. Yeah, and and Paul was such an amazing, creative, beautiful musician. Man, uh, he brought a lot of stuff out 
of Bill and I. Yeah. And both of us, I think, uh, playing with Paul and that trio was a springboard to all this music that we both been exploring through the years, you know? And it's so great since Paul's passing, Bill and I have hardly played, you know, he passed in 2011. So it's like 10 years now. Yeah. So, um, we're starting to do a couple little things together. And this trio with Tyshawn is going to be a, a nice next, uh, Continuation, yeah, continuation, uh, and another step in our development together. Yeah, know? which is beautiful. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and I'm looking forward to doing a quintet with two trios, with Marilyn and uh, Carmen and Tyshawn and Bill. And, Ooh, uh, man! Oh, yeah, we did it already, and it, it's really beautiful the way things take shape with within the five people, you know. And the way everybody's approach is, you know. Yeah. So there's a lot of uh, new ideas and music to come for sure. Man. Dr. Jack.